Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. And I'm going to update you on this upcoming pattern because we have a multi-day tornado threat, not to mention the major snow, the ice storm still showing all those damaging winds, but now it has increased. And you can see the storms that are happening right now this morning. So you have this big line right here. You can see the winds coming all the way through and punching through on this storm as it keeps going towards the east. And this is what... The threat is for Louisiana today. So I do hope that y'all did watch the video yesterday about the possibility of tornadoes because you have some strong storms that is passing through this morning. Plus your tornado threat. So for today, you do have the tornado threat for Louisiana, southern Mississippi, going into southern Alabama. For tomorrow, this is going to move further over towards the southeast, Alabama, northern half of Florida, Panhandle, and Georgia. Plus, they have ramped up what's going on for Monday, and just like I told you the other day, they have enhanced it over into Tuesday as well. So not only the big 15% chance for severe weather for Monday, now you have an enhanced section from Monday. And this does go over towards Tuesday as well, another 15%. So I'm going to give you all the information I can find. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. I usually don't upload from Friday to sundown to sundown Saturday because that is Sabbath unless lives are at risk. And we do have a tornado threat for tomorrow, so I will upload a quick video tomorrow just to give the latest updates. But remember, all the timestamps are in the description to help save you time. If you know somebody in these impacts, please share this information on other social media platforms, as well as hit the like button. Help YouTube know that other people need to see this information. This is good information. Thank you so much for your time. Now let's get into what we have. Now you can see the setup that we're going into. We do have our threat for today and it will carry over into tomorrow as well for the Southeast. Then as Monday comes in, as we still get these storms all down California, you do have more coming California. Then we start getting a strong system. It still shows a lot of potential for a lot of chances for severe weather. Not only lightning, large hail, chances for tornadoes. So as we go into Monday, then the setup comes in where you go into Monday morning all the way to around 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning. We have a lot of lift, bringing up a lot of storms up here in the south. But on a wraparound, you're getting a ice storm and a major snowfall that is coming out of that system all the way till Tuesday and Wednesday as well. And you do notice that there is no nor'easter going into the northeast. It is just too far away, just like I told y'all yesterday, is moving further and further to the east. So here's the setup with National Weather Service for today. You can see you do have all these thunderstorms possible all the way up to Indiana still. As you go in later in the evening, it's going to move a little bit further to the east while you're still getting all this rain on the west coast. Later in the night, it's going to move even further, still have storms all the way to Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. And by tomorrow morning, it's going to be moving into Alabama and Georgia, where it has a lot of storm potential as well. Then once you go into Saturday and all the way to Sunday, then it goes towards the East Coast, maybe South Carolina, North Carolina, might get into some severe weather. I will update you. Right now, it just shows a lot of chances for thunderstorms, including northern Florida. While this next surface low comes on in and strengthens up for California, brings y'all more rain. This is where it goes further down California and affects Los Angeles. Then as you go into Sunday, it moves further towards Arizona, bringing y'all that flash flood potential. Then once we go into Monday, then that comes to our main event. A lot of severe thunderstorms over here in the red. While you still get the ice and the freezing rain potential, the heavy snow, still more rain on the west coast. And as you go into Tuesday, you see it still transitions to where it's going to be a lot of rainfall with the snow. So that northern track did pan out. The southern track Euro took kind of faded away, and both of them are kind of meeting up together right in between. Not southern, not northern. I will show you. So a lot of you will see a lot of rain. You will see it mix over to freezing rain, some ice then some snow, and maybe even some rain again after that. But you can see as it goes up towards Wednesday, towards the East Coast, all you're going to be getting is rainfall. And as you go through Thursday and Friday, your surface low is way offshore. No snowfall predicted. But there is a chance for a little bit. Now you can also see what your dew points as you go through today. It does raise up to a lot of strong dew points, but once you get out of the morning, then it stays right around Louisiana with some storms, but the main part of the dew points, the strongest part, does switch into southern Mississippi by early this morning and go towards southern Alabama as you go into the afternoon and a little bit of the panhandle of Florida. Then as you go on through tomorrow, then the dew points raise right back up 
for Georgia, South Carolina, even the coast of North Carolina, while you do have some storm systems that do pass through with some strong cells, especially in the afternoon. Now, I'm not seeing a widespread tornado outbreak, but I do see a few chances where tornadoes can pop up. Now, you, when you look at your lift, you can see you have a lot of lift all morning long for Louisiana, for Mississippi. But as you go into the later morning, you can see that all these winds are pushing through with some nice downbursts. But you can see it does switch over towards noon, towards Panhandle of Florida, towards Southern Alabama. Then it dissipates as you get into the afternoon. While for tomorrow, it raises right back up for Southern Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, and it goes into Georgia and South Carolina as well. Now, you don't have a lot of lift. Even SIPs don't see a big chance for severe weather for tomorrow, especially for tornadoes. But National Weather Service does see that chance. So I will upload for tomorrow. So for today, you still have a 2% chance of tornadoes for Louisiana, Southern Mississippi, Southern Alabama, and the tip of the Panhandle of Florida. And this includes New Orleans, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, Metairie, Louisiana, and Gulfport, Mississippi. And you can see right here on HRRR that as these storms brew up, really strong storms even have that chance for those winds, as you can see right here, the bowing out. But as you go later in the day, you start getting some cells that pop up in front of this cold front and you can see these cells right here these are the ones that you need to watch out for your chances for tornadoes these easily spin up a chance for tornadoes especially for new orleans the west bank as well as southern mississippi and as you keep going on you can see it does stay for southern mississippi the longest before it finally dissipates to some strong frontline storms and some possible damage and winds that come with that. Then it stretches into Alabama, even the Panhandle of Florida as you go later in the evening. And there is a few cells that do pop up in front of this front. They need to watch out for a chance for a spin up or two. It don't last long, but you do have that chance. So you can see right here for Louisiana that you are getting some wind direction change with height, not a lot. But from the ground, you have winds going west, northwest at 10 knots. The long line is 10. The small one is 5. And at the higher elevations, it is changing direction to a east, northeast at 35 knots. You can see this right here on the photograph. Your winds go west, northwest. Then at the higher elevation, it does gain intensity all the way up to 30 knot winds. And it does change to east, northeast. So you don't have the big 50 knot barbs down here on 850 millibars, which you normally would see for a strengthening big tornado chance but you do have a little bit of wind direction change with height which is a chance for tornadoes for louisiana you can also see not only does it mile down but you do have the same chance for mississippi as this front comes along you can see right here on your photograph that the winds are going west northwest and then immediately go east northeast in a higher elevation and it does gain intensity but you can see on the bottom level it still winds 10 knot winds going west northwest and you still get that wind direction change with height right around the lower level winds 850 millibars so you do have a slight chance for tornadoes as well even southern alabama even when it gets towards you you can see right here on your photograph that you still get wind direction change with height you get a nice little hook you can see down here your winds actually pick up a little bit you get 15 knot winds on the ground level going west northwest and you do get the wind direction change with height it will be some nasty thunderstorms and there is a slight chance for tornadoes because you do have the wind direction change with height it's just not intensifying real strong as it goes higher in elevations so just be careful also for the panhandle of florida you can see down here that your winds are going south to a north a little bit of northwest but more like an updraft from south to north and it does change slightly at the lower levels not a lot so you don't have a big chance for tornadoes but you can see right here on the photograph it is getting a little bit of a hook it's not a strengthening but there is a slight chance so two percent is about correct then as we go through tomorrow for Saturday, it does move through southern Alabama, the Panhandle, Florida, and a little bit of Georgia gets in on this tornado threat as well. So it includes Columbus, Georgia, Tallahassee, Florida, Macon, Georgia, Albany, Georgia, and Dothan, Alabama. But you can also see right here on your photograph that a lot of these winds are not getting wind direction change with height. Now you're just getting a lot of... I would say speed shear because you do have a lot of fast winds at the 550, 600 millibar level miles in the atmosphere. And it's not at the 850 and you're not getting a wind direction change with height. So if you do get a tornado in front of this front, it will be from speed shear and not wind direction. So it could be a chance, mostly a damaging wind threat. 
So when you look with HRRR and see what's going on with the helicity values, if you've never been here before, helicity shows you wind direction change with height, where you can get some strong storms, potentially some tornadoes. Now you can see you have all these strong storms going all morning long for Louisiana, and it does go all the way into the early afternoon for southern Mississippi as well. Then it starts going into southern Alabama and it weakens down. Then for tomorrow, it comes right back and it's in the afternoon. It's right around 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You get some cells that fly by Georgia, South Carolina, even a few for North Carolina. This is where all your dew points are going to be. So there is going to be a chance for strong storms, even a chance for a tornado. Now, real quick, before I show you the main event and show you what has been enhanced up, if you've never been here before, I give away these weather stations every single day. Matter of fact, I might have to take a two-week break because of the warehouse waiting for them to come back from the holiday and get the shipment and the orders coming, and then we'll get rushing back to another 30-day giveaway. But these are very nice. Link is in the description if you want to get one, but I am giving it away on my channel, and it does give you a lot of information that updates every three seconds. So let's get to comments and pick today's winner. Remember, if you won already, please don't put the word radar in the comments for the winner for tomorrow and if you want a chance to win this you need to be a subscriber so make sure you subscribe not only for the weather content also for what's coming up with these giveaways i do generators as well i've done many of them already so let's get to the winner for tomorrow make sure you put the word radar in the comments to be eligible to win for tomorrow and hit that like button so the winner for today is Billy Mitchell, congratulations, Billy. You are the winner of the weather station for today. Make sure you contact me at this email, Kids Gaming Today. That way I can ship it to you, as well as your phone number. That way you can get live tracking as this package gets delivered to you. Radar. Can't say it no simpler than that. God bless you, brother. Thank you so much for your support, and I do hope that you do like it. Now let's get into the main event where it has intensified even more, guys. So not only do you have the 15%, you have now an enhanced section of 30% for severe weather. So for you 30%, you have Shreveport, Louisiana, Little Rock, Arkansas, Bozier City, Louisiana, North Little Rock, Arkansas, and Pine Bluff, Arkansas, as well as the 15%, which includes Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Memphis, Tennessee, Plano, Texas, and Garland, Texas. Now you can also see which SIPs that you don't have too much of a big threat for today, but you still have the threat, but it's not showing a huge threat for tomorrow. But National Weather Service does have out that chance for the tornadoes, and there is a few cells that come through in the afternoon that could be severe, so I will upload for tomorrow. And then as you go further, you can see that Monday, it has picked up. Matter of fact, they even have not only the 15%, they have a strong section for Southern Mississippi, and they do have it as a chance, a growing chance, for tornadoes and just like i told you it will carry over they do show it carrying over once again to a 10 percent after that so national weather service did upgrade the next day and it did do it to a 15 percent for tuesday and this includes new orleans louisiana birmingham alabama baton rouge louisiana montgomery alabama and mobile alabama now i will update that as we get closer of course because i like to get h triple r in on it any other weather model besides the NAM is not a high resolution model and you're going to get inaccurate information. But you do see here on your low level winds that you do have some wind shear that pops up for Louisiana as well as for Mississippi, not a lot. Then as you go through tomorrow, it pops up again for Alabama and goes into Georgia. So you do have that chance for a tornado threat. It is a slight chance. Now for Monday, for the main event, you can see that the shear did raise up. You do have chances for shear. All that brown is indicative to chances for 50 miles per hour wind gusts. The white is higher. But you can see this is a lot of spin in the atmosphere, which will help get your severe weather going. And it will go into Tuesday towards Ohio Valley and bring in damaging winds with a lot of shear in the south as well, creating a chance for your severe weather. And it does go out towards Wednesdays, towards the northeast, with chances for some winds. The winds have calmed down a little bit, but I am seeing chances for high 40s to 50 miles per hour wind gusts as it goes towards Ohio Valley. And that's what it does show, high 40 miles per hour wind gusts picking up to 50 as it goes by Arkansas, the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley, and as it goes towards Ohio Valley for Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, it picks up to 60 miles per hour wind gusts. So it is going to be a strong storm on the south side and on the north side with the ice storm 
the snowstorm. And as it goes through the northeast, there's chances for 50, even on the edge of 60 miles per hour wind gusts as it leaves. And this will be bringing a lot of heavy rainfall as well. So you can see with National Weather Service, the next two days of rainfall. As you go three days, that's when it's kind of not so serious, except for California, you're still getting a lot of rain. But once you go five days into that main event, then it adds up a lot more rain for the West Coast. Also what's in the South. All this red is all two to three inches. And once you get to that yellow and that orange, it starts becoming five inches or more. And seven days, it grows even more, especially for the West Coast. Five to seven inches going all the way down towards Los Angeles. I did update this a few days ago on this atmospheric river flood. If you did watch that, you will be prepared for that. At the same time, you can see it gets a lot for the Southeast. Now, five to seven days always changes. As we all know, even five days change. So I will update you. So far, I think this will move some. But for today, it will cause flooding. You do have marginal for California, a little bit of Southern Oregon, but you do have the slight risk as well. And this will continue to go down towards Los Angeles. As you have it for the central US, you have a big marginal and the slight risk for flash flooding for today. For tomorrow, it's gonna to be for California. You have a lot of slight risk all the way from San Francisco, all the way down to Los Angeles, as well as the marginal. And as you go through day three, it does switch over towards Arizona and before we get our main setup for Monday. But when Monday comes, then you're gonna go right into the slight risk for flash flooding for Monday and for Tuesday. It will move further over with chances for flash flooding. Plus the snowfall, you can see how it did go a little bit further northern. The GFS has been sticking around this for the longest time. Everybody in this gray area might see one to two inches. And you can see it here for the Canadian as well. It is a green right around this area from the Dakotas all the way towards northern Wisconsin. Major snowfall, a foot of snow still coming down. About the same effects for the Great Lakes, one to two inches. And you can even see the Euro has raised back up a little bit further to the north. It's not so far south like it was showing yesterday. So it is showing anywhere from Nebraska, southern Minnesota, all the way to northern Wisconsin is about the area that will see the major snowfall. And if you notice, none of them did show any snowfall in the Northeast. But we still have that ice threat and chances for an ice storm still for Eastern Nebraska, Northern Iowa, Southeastern Minnesota, and Central Wisconsin. A chance for a quarter inch all the way up to an inch, especially for Iowa. And you do see that we are going into this warm up for quite some time, guys. Next six, 10 day temperature probability has everybody in above average, especially the Northeast. And when you go from eight to 14 days, you stay in above average temperatures. So I do not see that Nor'easter forming at all. We do have a couple of cold fronts that's coming in, but nothing too serious. But most of all, thank you all that have shared this information through the week. Let people know what was coming so they'd be best prepared. As you can see, Louisiana and Mississippi is getting hit today. And if they didn't get any updates or known about this, they wouldn't even know and be surprised. So thank you all that thinks about others and shares the information. That's most dearly to me is getting people prepared for what is coming so they can be ready for it and make it as easy as possible on them and their families. God bless you. Psalm four hear me when i call O god of my righteousness thou hast enlarged me when i was in distress have mercy upon me and hear my prayer O ye sons of men how long will ye turn my glory into shame how long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing see law and if you've never been here before see law means think about what you just heard so I'll, I'll do that one again. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, 
Lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, and more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Amen. Have a very great Friday, everybody. God bless you and your families. I hope you have the most wonderful Friday there is. I'm so happy it's Friday. Yay! <laughs> but I will see you in the morning. We do have a threat that I think our upload will be warranted. So thank you so much for your time, most of all. And remember, the most important thing, all glory does go to Yahweh, our Father in heaven, our God. And may he keep all of you in safety. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you all. Have a very great day. Everybody.